Welcome back. In little more than 48 hours, they'll start to count the votes in our statewide primary and the tickets will be set for November. Here to give us a sense of how that could play out is Dr. Dante Scala of the University of New Hampshire. Dante, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome. So uh, give us a sense, what exactly happens when only a fifth of registered voters show up to vote in an election? What, what goes on? Well, it's a real difficult challenge for organizations, campaign organizations, to get their vote out, right? They campaign all summer when very few people are paying attention, and there's this big rush after Labor Day to get the job done. So typically voters who turn out for these very low turnout primaries are dedicated voters. They also tend to be more ideological, either more conservative or more liberal, and they're energized about politics in general. One of the headlines either way is going to be Congressman Frank Ginta. He's an incumbent. He's being primaried. He could lose. Some think he could hang on. How do you see this one playing out? Yeah, I mean, only five members of Congress, five incumbents, have lost primaries this whole year. So it's an exceedingly rare thing. So f to have an incumbent, even in somewhat jeopardy, is, an, is a story. Uh, but Congressman Gint has been working hard. He really kind of kept his head down after the campaign finance violations. Stands a, a good chance of surviving tomorrow. I think either way it's a story, and Democrats will make it a story if Gint is the nominee, no question about right. it. Gint may benefit from a low turnout election, but on the flip side of that, any of these candidates who make it out of this, who still haven't generated any of that name recognition, they're going to have a pretty hard time in the final two-ish months here to really get out ahead and, and get people to know who they are, aren't they? Yeah, that's especially true for the, the candidates for governor. Whoever the nominees are, their name ID is going to pale in comparison to, obviously, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, but also Senator Ayotte, as well as Governor Hassan. Those two races are going to dominate so much of the oxygen, there's going to be very little left over for the gubernatorial candidates. They're going to be overshadowed for most of the next two months. And of course, one of the biggest question marks is, you know, is there a down ticket effect from the top of the ticket or does it go up? You know, it's, it's completely up in the air, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big question. And whether really people who would not vote, say, for Donald Trump would say, well, with the rest of the Republicans, I'm fine with them because they're not Donald Trump. That's the big question. All right. Dr. Scala, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. We appreciate it. And for this interview and many others that we've done with almost all of the major candidates in the statewide and congressional races, you can go to WMUR.com politics.